Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate a variable power supply circuit that the designer claimed could provide a maximum output of 30 amperes. However, as we will see, the actual performance was different from the claim. Additionally, we will discuss the importance of including inductors in power supply output circuits. Few days back I found a video on design of a variable power supply that claims to provide a maximum of 30 amperes, so I plan to design it and check its actual performance. So, let's design the circuit first using the given circuit diagram. According to their datasheet, the MJE2955 power transistors are capable of delivering up to 10 amperes. By using two of these power MOSFETs in parallel, we can expect a maximum current of 20 amperes.
I will use this capacity tester to measure the maximum current that this power supply can deliver before it fails. I have attached my 24 volts 20 ampere switching mode power supply to the input of this circuit and the output is connected to the capacity tester. As you can observe, the design circuit is capable of delivering a variable output voltage. Let's set the output voltage to 12 volts. Also, let me clear the memory of this capacity tester before starting the test. If you haven't already watched my video on this capacity tester, please click the link in the description for a detailed explanation. Let's set the output load to 5 amperes and test if the circuit can deliver that amount of current. As you can see, we are getting 5 amperes at the output terminals but the voltage has dropped by almost 1.4 volts. Now setting the current to 9 amperes. As you can see, the circuit suddenly stopped regulating the output voltage and smoke started coming out of it. I immediately disconnected everything to prevent any damage to my SMPS or capacity tester. Upon examining the circuit, I discovered that the LM317 voltage regulator and its base resistor had burned out. This occurred as a result of applying a sudden surge of 9 amperes to the circuit, which did not allow enough time for the power transistors to reach their saturation point. As a result, all the current passed through the LM317 voltage regulator, causing it to overheat and burn out, leading to the flow of 24 volts through the circuit. This circuit has two major issues, first, there is no inductor at its output terminal to restrict any sudden changes in current, and second, the LM317 is connected in the wrong configuration with the power MOSFETs. Your feedback about this circuit is welcome. Thanks for watching and see you later.